Good afternoon, Properties. This is Audra. Hey, Audra. I'm in an apartment. Okay. Who's, who am I speaking with? Well, I'm not actually. I'm just visiting. But um, it, it seems like you guys, you know how you guys have like the stairs that go down to the basement? Uh-huh. Would it be a problem if we installed like a trap door instead because we don't want to use the stairs? Okay. What? A, who, who am I talking to? My name's Stacy. And why, and I'm sorry, why would you want to install a trapdoor? Who are you? You're not a tenant. Well, because that asshole from 3E always stands in the stairwell and he smokes. Okay, someone in 3E is smoking in the stairwell? Yes, but I'm, because, see, I, I need to actually get down to do my laundry, and he always standing in there. But we, we just wanted to install, like, a trapdoor. It's way too cold outside to be going through the stairwell. Well, no, we uh, we can't. In- I can't have somebody just installing trap doors. Well, what if you know, we do it building. for you? Will you pay for it? No. No, we, you can't just install a, a door on our building. Well, what if we what if we paid for it? We're, we're, you still can't install a door on, on the building. I'm not sure I'm understanding what you're talking about. It when when I think of trap door, I think of Looney Tunes and somebody steps on it and they fall. That's a trap door. Oh no no, like so, uh, you're talking about it. What do you mean that you're install? You want to install a trap door? We no, we just want to be able to move our rug over and go down that area instead of using the common stairwell. No, you have to use the common stairwell. Um. What if, well, we already kind of started. What do you mean you uh, already kind of started? I mean, we just kind of you started. Ripped, you ripped a rug up? Yes. Okay. Um, well, I the mean, rug's going to need to be easy. repaired. <laughs> well, I mean, no, not really. I mean, it can just stay up and we'll just, we just have it like as a flap so that we can lift the flap if we need to. And what is the reason why, first of all, I don't even know why I'm discussing this with you. You're not the tenant. What has this got well, to do with you? Here. You don't live I mean, there. I live here. Oh, no, you do? I I'm just not the um, person on the lease. So, so you're living in with her who has housing and is not allowed to have anyone living with her? Well, not exactly. Um, well, you just got done telling me that you live there. Well, and now I'm going to be more, now I'm going to be obligated to notify housing that she's in violation of her lease. Listen. You just listen. got done telling me you were, that you live there. I've only been here for two days. Okay. Well, then you don't live, are you, did you move in or you're just visiting? No, I didn't move my stuff in. I was just here for the weekend. Well, then why are you telling me you live there? I, you just got done telling me that, I'm, that I live, you just, got, you just said I live there. Conclusions. No, you, those you were the listen. words that came out of your mouth. You if said you I listen. live there. If you listen instead of making assumptions, you might Okay, learn all right, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have assumed that I, what I heard out of your mouth was I live there, even so, though that is exactly what you said. Okay. First of all, I'm going to have to send maintenance now over to that apartment tomorrow and see what kind of damage you guys have done to the carpet. Wait, you said now tomorrow. Is it now or tomorrow? I said now I am going to have to call maintenance and send them over there tomorrow to check to see okay. if there are what damages you guys have done. Well, Number one, you, can't, you, you have to... By the time you do that, we'll have it all cleaned up anyway. All right. Please clean it up. Get it fixed. I don't want to see any damages. You cannot put in trap doors. You must use the common areas. And I don't understand how somebody who's only visiting there for two days has is really even has this concern. Well, I'm I'm leaving tonight, and I just okay. want to do her a favor before I leave. Okay. No, you have to use. She has to use the common areas. I, there should be no reason why she can't use the common areas. There should we've be already, absolutely no reason. We've already cut. We already started. You already started why, what? Why, why are you being such a bitch about this? We already started. All right, you know what? I'm not going to discuss this with you, especially if you're going to resort to name calling me. I wasn't name calling. You 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 just got you it. just got done calling me the b word. I swear to God, did you did you didn't that not just come out of your mouth? So you can't say the b word, but you can say swear to God. Okay, you know what? I, I I am done with you. She has to use the common areas. If I find damage to that apartment, I find out you're living there and you're not supposed to be. She's I'm gonna be in trouble. I'm not living there. Why are you jumping okay. to conclusions? Okay, I'm not. You're you're why, psycho. Why are you... <laughs> properties. This is Audra. Hello, um, my name's Roy. 
I've been doing some construction work over here. Uh, they, they just told me I had to quit. I'm, I'm an inde- uh, yes. independent contractor with Royco Construction. Yes, uh, they I, have. Uh, first of all, the, it, it's an apartment building. They rent that apartment. Okay. Um, they had no authorization from us to make any modifications to that unit whatsoever. Oh, I see. I just, uh, I just left a message for our maintenance supervisor that he is to go there first thing tomorrow morning to assess for any damages. Okay. Well, I, we, we didn't, like, I had to stop anyway because we cut the hole in the floor, on the subfloor and everything. It's about four foot mm-hmm. by four foot. But we can't, like, the joists are in the way and we can't take those out because it's going to have support issues. Okay. And I'm sorry, what was your name? Uh, my name is Roy from Royco. And... From what's the company? Uh, Royco Roy Co Construction. Royco Construction. And can I have your phone number? Oh, Roy? sure. Sure. It's uh, Erica. It's 4545. 4545. Yes. And you're saying you cut a hole through our subfloor without having written authorization from the owner of the building. Well, we got um, authorization from and we got permits and everything. The tenant. We have no, way of, know the we have no way of knowing that. She told us she was the owner. Well, now, now you do realize it's an apartment, correct? Ma'am, you don't need to talk to me like that. I'm not retarded. Okay. Well, all right. I know you're not retarded, sir. I'm just, I, and I apologize. I'm just very angry with the last phone call I got about how they're installing trap doors and this and that. I did not even realize that they actually had someone from a construction company over there doing this. So are you going to be paying they me for no this? Or- I'm going to pay you for it. Okay. First off, um, and we're also going to be paying us for whatever it costs for us to repair the work that you've done to get the building back to its original state. Okay. Well, we've, I'm putting in support beams right now, posts in the basement, so we can go ahead and cut these joists out. Don't you cut the joists out. No, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I, I, I'm I've telling you pay- that you I've, need to stop. No, I've been paid already for this part of the job, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the joists okay. out now. No, you cannot cut the joists out. I signed a contract. Uh, Roy, you have to understand. You have to understand, Roy. You uh, is a tenant. She doesn't own the building. You, uh, I, I'm, tr- I'm not trying to talk to you like you're retarded. I, I, I swear. I'm, but you, you cannot cut through our building. Well, she's already paid without me without written I, consent from the owner of the building. Well, no, I have, I have the contract here that's written, and I, I have to finish the and job I started, or, or else I'm going to have to give her back her money if I don't finish. And I've already bought all the supplies and everything. Right. If you know what's good for you legally, you're going to stop right now. Because if you continue this job, it is going to end up suing you. So I would strongly recommend you stop where you are. Well, Whatever what you've done is safe and secured. Well, someone, no one here is stopping me. So I, I'm just going to finish what, what I've been paid to do. I'm just going to put up four support poles in the basement and then cut out the joists so the hole's complete. And then um, uh, I've got a guy coming in that's going to do the stairs. Okay. But he, he's All not right. going to be I'm going to put you on hold. I'm going to, I'm going to see if the, I'm going to try to get the owner of the building on the phone for you. Can you hold? Oh, I thought you were the owner. So now, no, now, I'm the now property manager. Is, the owner's in. Now someone else is the owner. I don't even think you're being honest with me. I didn't say I was the owner. I, I never said I was the owner. I said that you did not have permission from the owner. You said I never you were the said owner. I was the owner. No, you said you were the owner. No, I did not. Don't start talking now. Please don't talk to me like I'm retarded. Can you hold, please? And I can will get the owner on the phone. I have a nephew that's retarded, and that's offensive to me. So you can stop saying retarded. Well, you, I'm sorry. You know what, Roy? You're the one that started this with me. You're the one that used that term initially. I never said that. You used that term initially. Yes. Yes, you did, sir. Okay. You know, I'm not trying to argue with you. I, I'm trying to tell you just to stop what you're doing. Okay. I'm just going to finish these posts so that you're going to keep cutting holes in our building. And then you can stop. You can stop. All right, hold on, Brad hold on, tomorrow. please. I'm going to get the owner. Before can you hold, please, for one second while I get the owner? Okay. Hold on, please. Why is she being such a bitch about it? <sighs> Who knows? I'm looking for construction sound effects. That's good. Hello, Roy. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah, um, I'm the bro- I'm the broker here. Okay. And. Um, uh, Hold on, I can't. I can't hear you over the sound of this power saw. Where I'm sawing through the joints. I'm the broker here, and apparently the tenant has no authority to do anything with that facility. Okay. Um, you, you know, if you're in there doing work for that tenant, okay, you are actually breaking the law. 
Okay, well, I have a contract. Okay, they have so, no right I mean, to do anything unless they get approval from us. Maybe she'll and be in trouble with the law, but not me. Okay, so I, if, you're, if you're doing anything at all, I'd stop immediately. I will have the police come over there right now. Okay, well, hold on. i got to cut through so, the rest of this joist here. What's that? i got to cut through the rest of this joist. Hold on. So if we cut through the joist, that's a problem because we're going to have the police, the police come out. Oh, no, it's okay because we put support posts in the basement, so it's fine. It's I don't care. You're collapse. not supposed to be doing anything. Well, don't tell me how to do my job because I'm, I'm a, prof- I'm a professional. You're not supposed to touch that facility. I'm a professional at this, so don't tell me how to do my job. Uh, I, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll have the police come out. Okay, if, if you're not going to leave and stop work immediately, we'll have the police come out. We'll call them up right now. Okay, I'll stop then, I guess. Okay, well, you better leave the building, too, because you don't have permission to be in there. No, no, gave me permission, so that's all right. It has no permission, it has no right to give permission in her lease, she's not allowed to. Oh, she's not allowed to have visitors, then? She's not allowed to have visitors in the basement. Well, I'm not in the basement. I'm upstairs right now. You could be in her apartment, but not in the basement. I'm in her apartment. I'm sawing through the joists. But her apartment's sort of a part of the basement now because there's a big hole. Okay, well, you better repair it because if it's not fixed, okay, she's not going to want to pay me. What's that? She's not going to want to pay me if I repair it. So, no, I'm not repairing anything. Well, she's going to have to pay you to repair it because we're going to be suing her. (laughs) Whatever. I'll I'll let you go now. i got to finish this. Hey, can't finish. Okay, well, I'm calling the police then. No, okay, don't, 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 don't call the police. Don't call the police. I am calling the police. You're, no. you're destroying property that, that you have no right to destroy. I ha- it's in a contract. It doesn't matter. It's not a contract with us. We own the building. You know, she has no right to enter a contract with you at all. You're going to end up going to jail, buddy. Nobody's going to jail. Maybe you should go okay, to jail well, for harassing phone calls. I will call calls. the police unless you, leave, unless you leave and stop okay, and what right. you're doing right now. I'm leaving now. I'm, I've, I've left. I'm outside now. Okay, bye. Okay, if you go back in there and you work on that property... I'm going back One to, more time. I'm going back to get my hammer. Well, go, go ahead back and get your hammer now and then get out of there. And where is... I want to talk to her. She's busy. Okay, I'm gonna, I gotta go. I gotta clean up here. Well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna end up he- we're gonna come, we're heading over there if that's the case. Okay, I mean, fine. you're telling me she's not going to talk to me. She's busy. Fine, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, you come over the police, here. And, the you, police you, are going to go. You come over here and talk to me. Talk to me like that to my face. I'm, the police are coming over there, not me. Well, you said you're coming over there. You said we. No, I I said the police will come are, over. Are there. You, it won't be us coming. It won't be me coming over. It'll be our maintenance crew well, coming over along with the police. You clearly said we. So now I think you're impersonating a police officer, and that's illegal. I'm just telling you, buddy. Okay. Okay, I gotta go. I'm on the clock, and I have to go. Okay. Well, if you're on the clock, get the hell out of there. Because if you touch that that property anymore, don't tell me what to do. Anymore, don't tell me what to do. You know. Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Now it's time on Prank Call Nation. Cactus. 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 Playing games. Cactus. 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 Am I supposed to be doing this? Cactus. 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 This cocksucker. Cactus. 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 You've got to be crap on my ball. Cactus. 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 This is going to be a fuck job to edit. Cactus. 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 You're calling me a hobo. Cactus. 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 You don't make a house a pool. Cactus. 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 How about if I come down and punch your head off? Cactus. 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 You blow and smoke up my ass. Cactus. 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 You think a tracer can stop me? Hey everyone, you are listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 471 for June 7th, 2018. I am not sure who the sponsors are today. Let me make a quick phone call here. 7-Eleven, how may I help you? Hey there, it's Brad from the Situation Room. Could you tell me who the sponsors are today for the Snowplow Show? Sponsors for the what? The Snowplow Show. Okay, one moment. Okay. This is the sponsors for the Snowplow Show. FOD 87, Thunor, high school graduate, Jessica Cow, Jamie F, as in Frank. Okay, great. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Bye. Uh-huh, bye-bye. Okay, there you have it. FOD 87, Thunor, high school graduate, Jessica Cow, and Jamie F, as in Frank, apparently. 
Thanks, all five of you, for sponsoring today's episode of The Snowplow Show. Your support is greatly appreciated. Today, Stacy is joining me to make some calls to apartment places, like we always seem to do when we get together for calls. So that's what we're doing today. Before that, just a couple of things. Number one, clown sec coins are apparently being mailed out. I don't know why I'm announcing that, but I'm excited about it. I'm pretty sure he made my clown sec coin pink and purple, which is pretty great. I was not expecting that. Those should be in the mail for everyone, though, if you supported the clown sec coin project, the latest one. I have no idea if he has more available, but maybe he'll have some over at clownsec.com. Not clownsex.com. Don't make that mistake, like I did. Uh, speaking of Stacy, she was on an episode of Mr. Biggs last night. Mr. Biggs actually did a live call-in show for, I don't know, about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, I can't remember. And I was able to get through. Stacy called in and annoyed the crap out of Mr. Biggs for a while. And Carol got through. I think some other PLA people got through, but I'm not sure because they were all just saying weird things and making up fake names and stuff. Just trying to harass Mr. Biggs, but it was a lot of fun. Everybody should listen to that. I don't know if it's up yet for the general public to hear. I think it might be private for now until he edits it, but you can definitely hear it on his Patreon over at patreon.com slash Mr. Biggs. I think you can anyway. I'll have a link in the show notes just in case. If not, I'm sure it'll be out soon, so keep an eye out for that. Hopefully he does tons more of those. Carol got through and he got sick of her shit and like slammed down the phone on her. Kind of rude. Uh, What else? Calls of Mass Confusion. There are new episodes out. I watched one today with Carlito in it. It was fucking hilarious. Carlito does this thing, which is really, really horrible, where he does fake job interviews on Skype video, and he says, hey, I need to call up one of your references here real quick while you're on the phone with me. And the recipient's like, okay, and gives him a phone number. He does this on his show a lot, too, on his regular audio show. But he'll get, like, a family member or a friend on the phone or whatever while the guy is on video, and it goes a little bit like this. You're shoplifting, so we're actually um, going to be arresting him. You caught who? We caught, um, <laughs> I guess his name is Dale. He's been shoplifting. He's here drinking. I'm at the Target store in Richardson. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. He we, uh, he was shoplifting and went into the bathroom, and he started masturbating inside the public restroom yep. here. Yep. Here, let me turn. Good stuff, Carlito. That's him talking to this guy's reference and telling him that he's been arrested for shoplifting. Come pick him up. That's good stuff. Uh, Back on Sunday, there was a new one with me in it. I played the part of a self-driving car again. You know, the wise-cracking self-driving car. Giad had his self-driving car system run a background check on this girl we were talking to. And it went something like this. This is one of those things I'm trying to get big news spin on. And then all of a sudden, they're going to be like, 11-year-old prostitute drives around AI car. I can't deal with that. That's not going to be good for you. I think the Vroom Vroom system does not lie, Santa. You are the liar. got arrested at age 10 for prostitution, and you were arrested two times in 2013 for drug possession and sales. Damn! Yes, I know everything. You low life. Yep, and she seems to disagree with us. She thinks a self-driving car can make mistakes. But nope, we know everything. So be sure to go look at those videos. Those are over at youtube.com slash C-O-M-C pranks. Giad is still releasing two episodes every single week. So many that I'm not even caught up. It looks like there's three of them, four of them here that I haven't watched yet. I think that's it. Let's get started with this show starring Stacy in her first Snowplow Show appearance in about, I don't know, four or five years now. Ha! Remember pay phones? Those were the days. I mean, where would Superman change now? Inside a little tiny cellular phone? <laughs> no way, you'd have to be way too small, it wouldn't work. What are we doing? I don't know, we're gonna do apartment calls, right? We're gonna talk about how like we've adopted the, what, like the possum? Someone's been telling me that I need to um, say that I've my toilet's been broken, so I've been peeing in the pool. <laughs> you can ask them what the hours are for the pool and then be like well I need y'all to keep it open a little later because sometimes I have to pee in the middle of the night <laughs> <laughs> you have to do a call though because okay. it's been a while for you okay, okay. hello um, I was calling to see if you guys were going to be installing a pool anytime soon uh, no, we're not. Okay. Um, okay. 
so I've been living here and like I'm tired of you guys not having a pool and so I've kind of like developed my own solution inside my apartment but everyone has found out about it like all the neighbors have found out they're constantly coming over to use my pool and I just I really think that you should you know have a pool so that people stop using mine oh uh, who is this <laughs> This is Stacy, and like I'm, I'm just I'm tired of people using my pool, and I want to know, do you guys have plans to make one? No, we're HUD subsidized, yeah, so we don't. HUD really doesn't have any kind of a you know plans to to have us have a pool. Yeah, well, I've lived in these kinds of apartments before, and they had pools. Yeah, so, I'm tired of people using my pool. I don't know if you can put out, like, a notice that, like, hey, stop using Stacy's pool. I, I can't say no, because I'm, like, a nice person, you know. Well, but these what, people what are, are you using in? my pool. Ma'am? I'm in Building 7. Building 7. Okay, um... And what's which unit? I, I don't want to say where I am because y'all are gonna you're gonna take my pool away. Uh, for one thing, yeah, because if if you're in a in a top floor unit or a second floor unit, you shouldn't have that kind of water in your unit for the fact that you know, you could leak downstairs and cause somebody's damage. Well, I mean, has anybody called? And complain because I guarantee you the people under me are pretty happy that I have a pool because they keep coming upstairs knocking on my door asking me to use it and okay. and they're uh, kids you know but yeah. I can't say no to kids they just want to have fun you know and yeah. I'm just tired of people using my pool okay. but it's fine Over. like we put like a bunch of um, saran wrap down and like duct tape and I mean it's fine it like takes up an entire bedroom though and I would rather yeah. like at some point I'm going to call you and ask you to help me drain it but I really want you, you to have a pool first before I drain it we're, we're not ever going to have a pool too much liability one well, I think it's a huge liability to have people coming over to my apartment and swimming in my bedroom. That's another part of the liability part is if I know you have a pool, we have to ask you to get rid of it. Well, that's why I'm not telling you which apartment I'm in. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, I can't be the first one to put a pool no. in. Yeah, you, you are, actually. Am I? I've been, and I've been, yeah, I've been here for forever and... Oh, come on. I doubt that. Uh, yeah, I'm serious. I've never had anybody tell me they have a pool in their unit. Okay, well... What can I do? Uh, I, I would suggest you get rid of it before we find out who you are and make you get rid of it. That sounds... Uh... It's complicated because I can't get rid of all this water now. Like I don't. Uh, we we took out everything out of the bedroom and created like a perfect plastic casing mm -hmm. container, whatever. We have all the water contained, but like there's nowhere for it to go. So I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know if you want to come help me get rid of it or whatever. <clears throat> I would really prefer though that I have a pool to go to this summer. But we have access to Milani Town's pools. All you gotta do is get a pass from them. And we have yeah, to, but I mean, to do it, that. Yeah, but that's like not here, you know? It's like I have to go somewhere else. I don't even have a car. 
I can't walk very far. So, you know, at this point, I should be charging people to use my pool. It's probably all I can do. Hmm. Can you send out a notice to stop using Stacy's pool? Uh, yeah, I'm not even supposed to know you have a pool. So how am I going to put out a notice yeah, but I mean, to stop using your pool? You can just say, I know that everyone here is using Stacy's pool. Please stop. Oh, I, I mean, I seriously, you have to have yeah. a procedure for this. I could not be the first one. You are the first one. Seriously. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, whatever. I don't. I don't believe you. I'm just gonna keep having my pool. Nobody's complaining, so I don't see how it's a problem. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Bye. All right. <laughs> she sounded a little stressed out. Not concerned though. Yeah, she's very chill about the whole thing. <laughs> right. I'm like, gonna... has that happened before? Um. I'm gonna talk to her. Okay. Good morning, my canali, Lisa. Hey there. Um, I am a tenant here. Hello. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. And I live. Um, I'm in the downstairs apartment below Stacy. You know, she's the one with the pool, and she just kicked me out and said I can't use her pool anymore. I'm wondering if you guys got the wrong property. What well, us guys? It's, I'm the only one that's called. It, like, no, we live. I I live at Drive. Okay, and what is your name? This is Brad. I, and look, I've my so upstairs. The the lady that lives up there, she's constructed a pool in her bedroom, and it's been leaking. And she said, as long as I don't tell, I can use the pool. And now she's kicking me out. So, like, huh. I've got water leaking all the t like, 24-7 down into trash cans in my bedroom. Yeah, of course, because they're not authorized to have a pool. Obviously, you're telling me right now because you said she <laughs> lets you use it <laughs> if you don't... But she just, you know? she just kicked me out. What's that lady in the background saying? What's your last name? Carter. I, you know what, um, are you even a resident here? I am. I just, I wouldn't be on the lease, because um, my roommate's on the lease. Okay. But can, I just, you come, can you come into the office? I'm just saying I think it's bullshit that I can't use the pool anymore. And I wouldn't have to do this if you guys would just, if, if you just had a pool here on the grounds. Oh my gosh, you guys are like um, a joke. You guys need to come in the office. You need to come in office if you have a problem because we don't even authorize any pools in any unit. What do you mean? What do you mean, us guys? And it's not in my apartment. It's in Stacy's apartment upstairs. She was letting you use it without telling anybody that she had one. So obviously, we didn't even know. No, the other the other neighbors use it too, but she has a problem with me because she says I'm creepy. If you have a, where are you located right now? I'm in my apartment, and it. it the, and the ceiling's leaking, and the ceiling's drooping. Is it a problem for you to come into the unit, I mean, the office right now, the property site office? I can in a little bit, I guess. I'm watching TV right now. But why do I have to come in? I'm telling you over the phone. What she say? <laughs> okay. She was saying something in the background. She kept saying my name. Did you hear that? Yeah. The lady I, you talked to. <laughs> well, they were probably looking you up. Yeah. I mean... I like I how know. they didn't ask our apartment numbers. <laughs> right. That was nice. Yeah, he told me there were seven buildings. I was like, I'm in building seven. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't really seem nice. to care as much as other apartments do. <laughs> I don't know. I guess Hawaii. Was that Hawaii? Yeah. They've got a, other yeah. shit to deal with. They're, they're like, you know, volcanoes going off next to them and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, the volcano is very small. It's affecting a very small area, I think. Oh, where, where's the but, area? Let's call the apartments in that area. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> something just opened up in my floor. You should call back in 30 minutes and uh. say that I've gotten violent. <laughs> <laughs> like, you tried to get back in the pool, and... 
Hey, what if, what if you call back right now and you say that I was banging on the ceiling with a broomstick because I was angry and now the pool's got a hole in it? <laughs> okay. I tried to tell her. Okay, re- ready, I, set, go. You tried to tell her it's leaking. No, just tell her I was banging with a broomstick. <laughs> okay. Why did you send this guy over to my apartment? He's angry at me now. Now. What did oh, you say? Fuck it. She hung up. Okay. <laughs> what about California? Property value is a little higher in California. Okay. I wasn't going to do a part California because I feel like I've done everything. Like all the major cities. I'm just going to find some small cities. <laughs> what? I'm always like I'm always looking for something on the West Coast. So I'm always just looking around wow. California. Here, I'm going to look in mid-California. Hey, see how there's a path cutting through the middle? Mm-hmm. Ask if they can get rid of the path because people keep cutting through, oh, through your yard. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> police department says Bridget. Oh, crud. This isn't really a police department, is it? No. Why'd you say that? I place apartments. Oh, shit. Okay, let me put my wife Stacy on. We're, we're, we're tenants here. Here you go, Stacy. Okay. Um, I was wondering if it would be all right if, uh, you know, that pathway that's like in between the buildings. Do you know what I'm talking uh, who, about? No. Who are you calling? I'm calling apartments. I'm not apartments. What? Who are you? Place apartments. Oh, my God. Are you calling the ones in... Yeah, I'm calling the ones at 45 Drive. That's, That's where me. I live. Are you kidding me? Honey, tell her to stop being a bitch. Are you joking me right now? No. You. Who is this? So, this is Stacy, and uh, I cannot believe you work for the apartments I live at. Um... Look, there's a path in between that goes behind my apartment. And people keep walking over this path. Um, I have hired some people to come here tomorrow morning and put some dirt what apartment over are you in? my part of the path. And what apartment put some grass are you in? Over it. And I'm in 135, and I, I need people to stop walking so close to my window. I am going to move the path. I am going to put dirt over it and grass over it and move the path so it goes kind of further away from my apartment. Um, the people doing this are called Royco. They're going to be here in the morning. Um, they're going to have to section off part of the apartments. Uh, but, um, they should be out of your hair by the end of the day, and you don't have to worry, I'm paying them, I'm the one paying, uh, but Royco will be here tomorrow, just wanted to let you know to go ahead and Honey, let them you in are calling and... the wrong apartments, because I don't have a Stacy that lives in 135. So, are you at 45 drive, because that's where I live. I live here, and I am telling you, this is where I'm sending Royco You're not in my apartment, you don't. I'm at 45 Drive in... Yes, that's where I'm at. But what I'm trying to tell you, whether or not you believe me, Royco is going to be there. And they're going to want to do the work that I contracted them for. And I'm just saying, you know, it's courtesy. I'm sorry, you, you are very confused. No, I'm not. These are the place apartments. No, I'm place apartments. Oh, my God. That's what I said. I do not have a Stacy that lives in my apartment in 135. Okay, look. These are the apartments that are in between Continental and... Right? Yeah, uh, and one... uh, Continental and... Okay, well... You might be getting some contractors sent to your apartment. I uh, I might have gotten the wrong one. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know how to fix this because they're closed already. 
I guess you're going to have Royco show up tomorrow. I, I can't Who, stop them. Who's showing up? Well, you can't, you can't do anything to somebody's property anyway without their permission. Well, they have permission from me, and I contracted. I already signed the okay, contract. Okay, do you own the apartments? No, but they didn't ask. They yeah, didn't they can ask. be arrested for, for uh, messing with somebody else's property. Who's but, going to get arrested? Uh, you're not, you, don't leave in, you don't live in my apartments. Well, maybe I got the wrong apartment complex, but I've already signed all the documents. <laughs> and I don't even live there, apparently. So you're just going to have You don't live in mine. I'm sorry, but I have a I single elderly man that lives in my apartment, 135. Yeah, I think I called. Oh, shoot. You know, I gave them your information, and I meant to do a different, like, shoot. Now I'm going to have people walking by my window continuously because of this stupid path, and I just wanted them to fix it and move it, and <laughs> now I'm going to have to wait until they're all done over there, pay them, and then hire them again to do it on my actual apartment. They're not doing anything so, to my pro my property. I'll have them arrested. Well, I've I've already paid for it, though. I have already paid but, for but it. But they cannot closed. touch they're my property. I'll have them arrested. I don't know about so, this. If somebody shows up, I'll tell them to call you, okay? And your name is Stacy. Yeah, but I don't want to be called. Like, I, you know what? I'm going to try to call Royco and let them know that I got the wrong apartment. Obviously, the wrong address written down. They really should have called you first, but um, I'll, I'll go ahead and call them and, and let them know. Hopefully, they can cancel it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, are you going to be around for a while? No, I get off at 5 o'clock. Okay, but you'll be there in the next few minutes? Uh, yeah, I'll be here till 5. Okay, I'll, I'll call them and I'll let you know what they say. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. I don't think that was the wrong apartment. No, it was the right one. Like, it's got a different name on it. Like, maybe they changed their apartment name and they just didn't update it in Google or update it in the know. web. I don't know. But it's, it's definitely the right one. She gave you the right address. I know. That's why I'm so confused. <laughs> but I guess uh, if you want, you can call back as at Roy, as Royco and oh, tell yeah. her. <laughs> so I'll tell her I'm going to be there, whether they want want me to or not. Because <laughs> yeah. I Stacy already paid, and she wrote down your address, <laughs> and you already bought all the supplies. I don't feel like redoing the paperwork. Yeah. The suppliers are already on their way with all the, the sod. And and they're going to be there today at 6.30, like after she gets off work. Yes. That's what I'm doing. Should I call her right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Police Department, this is Bridget. Um, hello. I, I'm calling from Royco Construction. Yeah. And uh, I just talked to one of my customers, Stacy. Yeah. And she, she's, what are you laughing about? Is she, well, because she does not live out here. She said she did. Well, I don't care what she said. I'm the manager. I have my, whoa, my whoa. Um, tenant list whoa, right whoa, in front whoa. of me, and she does not live out here. Well, nevertheless, she paid us for this job, and I, I'm going to tell you exactly what I told her. I've already done the paperwork. I've already hired all the... The people I, need. I don't care. You're not coming on my property and doing anything. You know how there's a path that goes right through the middle there, like a sidewalk type thing. I, you have got to have the wrong apartments, but nobody is coming onto my property and touching my property. No, they're not going to touch the property. They're going to remove all the sidewalks. Nobody's removing sidewalks off my property. Yes, they are. We were paid to do this. Like we were paid a by lot. By who? Of, by Stacy. I don't know any Stacy, and, and you cannot touch a rental property without the owner's permission. Yes, we can. I'll show you the contract. No, you can't, and I will have you arrested. No, I have a contract. 
right here. I don't care who you have a contract with. With Stacy. You can you cannot touch a rental property without the owner's consent. I can if I have a contract, and that's why we're gonna... No, you cannot. It's illegal. Okay, look. We were supposed to be there. Look, I'm a landlord. I, I've been a landlord for 15, 18 years. I know the law. You cannot touch somebody's personal property without their permission. Okay, you're taking this too personally. We're just going to rip up the sidewalks. That's all. You're not going to rip up anything. <laughs> Except for the sidewalks. Man. <laughs> the hell? Oh, wow. So, there is a sound clip in there. <laughs> I've been a landlord for 18 years. No, for I've been a landlord for 15, 18 years. It's like she forgot what year right. it was. But it's kind of like the hematology. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it lady like, I'm a hematologist. Okay. Oh, and as soon as she answered but, and it sounded like she said police department, I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I, I talked to her already. She's going to know my voice. Okay, so um, you should just call her back and be like, we're just going to have some guys drop some stuff off. They don't know anything. I can't contact them. Just please be nice to them. <laughs> You sound angry. Tell her she sounds angry. <laughs> you don't want your guys getting arrested. Police Department, this is Bridget. Hey, Bridget. I need to let hey, you know. Hey, I'm... No, look. I, I gotta let you know. There's a dump truck on the way full of sod. They're gonna dump it in the middle of the complex there. They're, they're already on the way. Well, they're gonna get arrested. No, they're not gonna dig up the sidewalks. That happens in the morning. Nobody's dumping anything in here no it's <laughs> okay she hung up oh my god but like i couldn't talk the way you she don't said. want them to get arrested and you can't get a hold of them <laughs> i don't know hey wait what if... i don't know what else <laughs> <laughs> yeah just forget this place she's she's had enough <laughs> what if um this reminds me of the trap door <laughs> Because you were like, I already paid for the materials. Remember, I kept I'm just gonna playing. Gonna go back to get my hammer. I kept playing sound effects of, of a saw or whatever. Yeah. Good, good times. I wish we had a third person that could call that lady and be like, "Yeah, we've received some complaints about you being an angry bitch." Hey, this is Willie. I'm the dump truck driver. <laughs> Uh, I lost her number, though. Okay, hold on. I'm going to find it. That sounds really convincing, actually. <laughs> okay, hold on. i got to find her number. Yeah, ask for directions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. i got to change my number, too. This will be hilarious. Be confused when she won't give you directions. Police Department, this is Bridget. Hello, ma'am. Uh, I'm calling from the Sod Delivery Company. I'm on my way over with a truck full of sod. Nobody's, nope, nobody's dumping anything here. Oh no, we got it's a delivery. It's been paid for. No, uh, it's just, not coming here. Nobody here has delivered it. I mean, as as ordered it. Ma'am, I just I just need to make sure I have the address correct because I'm on my way over. I'm five minutes away. All right, so you're I'm, not dumping anything here. Well, like I'm gonna be dumping sod. Like a big No, pile you're of... not. I have to. <laughs> she, she's... <laughs> I feel really sorry for the old people that live there. <laughs> she probably yells at them all the time. Probably. Apartments, this is Amber. Hey, Amber, I'm a tenant here. Um, I have just needed to let you know about something. Oh, okay. I, I'm the guy that is always asking about getting the pool in here. And I've actually, um, my brother-in-law is a contractor. He's coming over tomorrow to, to start digging, to put a pool in. It's going to go right next to Wait. the park. You know, like the... the Wait, who the, is this? Uh, this is Roy. I, I'm a tenant here. And you know, like, the park er area, right? Yeah. We're, we're going to have a pool, like an in-ground pool right next to it, like just in time for summer. Wait, why is there an in-ground pool being put into our grounds? So we all have a pool. That can't just be put in. Yeah, it can. Like, my brother's a contractor. It's going to be, like, six foot on the, on the deep end. 
and it's going to start out out at three. Has that even been approved by our management? No, it's a, kind of like a surprise. I'm calling to let you know. I thought you'd be more excited. It's, gonna, um, it's right next to the park. There's going to be a pool between the park and that building. The big park, I like don't the, even, the play area. No, no, that is that 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 no, that has to be approved by management. Everything has to be approved by management. You can't just do that. Well, it's too late because he's hired the trucks and everything, like the backhoe digger, caterpillar, whatever thing. Can I get your Tractor. name and number, please? Sure, it's Roy. Last name? Zerbel. And the numbers. What unit do you live in? On your caller ID. What unit do you live in, please? Um, three hundred one. I mean, 101. Okay. And what building? Uh, it's the one right by the park. Because I, w- I wanted it close to my building, you know. Okay. But you do realize you called apartments, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know where I live. I don't see why you're getting upset, though. I'm, I'm basically... Because you give, can't I'm give, do that. I'm giving you guys a free pool, basically. Like, I'm going to help with the construction and everything, so it's... It's super cheap, but it's going to be an in-ground pool with filters and everything. How do you spell your last name? G-H-E-R-B-A-L-F. E. Did you say G-H? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm just letting you know. Like, they're going to be here tomorrow morning at 8 in the morning, and they're going to start... I want you to know they're gonna that start... you will be in violation of your lease if you put that in tomorrow. It's it's not and me doing it. You. It's not me doing it. It's my brother-in-law. Um, By your permission? Yeah. You are responsible. Yeah, but it's his contract. He, he It's, you know, it's Royco Construction. You know what? I'm going to have my people call you. Why? Because this is not because this is not acceptable. They'll, they'll probably appreciate it. Your people, they'll probably be like, "Thank you." Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. I'll let them call you back. Okay. I know they're going to. They're going to. Okay. They're they're going to be like much less of a bitch than you're being right now. I'm not trying to be a bitch at all. I'm stating the fact you that you being. cannot just randomly change our property without approval of the owners. It's not random. I've been asking for this for like forever now. Like as long as I lived here, I've said we needed a pool. Right next to the play area. Um, so you're being a total B. I'm just going to... Oh, I am not. I am following the rules. I'm going to have my boss call you back, okay? It's going to save money because you won't have to mow all that grass. It's going to be all concrete. We're putting in concrete. My bosses are going to call you, okay? When? Whoa. You can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> Do you have a phone number she could call? Oh, I do. You know, someone else is going to get that phone call. (laughs) Yeah. You should call her back and give her the real, the PLA, Uh, whatever. Too late. Did you notice, like, she didn't mind that I called her a bitch, but when I called her a B, (laughs) she's like, whoa. (laughs) Yeah. She was like, I'm not being a bitch. (laughs) Yeah. And then you called her a B and she was like, ooh. (laughs) Yeah. Nobody calls her a B. Oh, there. This is Mr. Biggs. From the Stick It with Mr. Biggs podcast, and I would like to officially distance myself from the Snowplow Show and Phone Losers of America and all their nonsense and whatnot. I do not approve of calling people on the phone, making a fool of yourself, wasting their time. It's not a good use of your time, their time, all the phone company's time. Leave them alone. Uh, I don't know the apartment number formats here, but it looks like it's a three-story place. So probably like, oh, okay. probably like you know, one thirty-five, two thirty-five, stuff like that. But do you see they okay. have, they got a pool and everything? Um, it's all. Oh, yeah. Thank you for calling. Yo, this is Sierra speaking. How can I help you? Hi, I just wanted to let you guys know that the hot tub has not been working very well. Um. And people have been using mine in my apartment. Um, I was wondering when you guys were going to fix that. All right, thank you. Uh, You you have a a hot tub in your apartment? Okay. 
That's not the point. The point is I've been living here using my hot tub in my apartment. Whenever your, your, your hot tub breaks, people start wanting to use mine. So I need to know when you're going to fix it. Okay. Um, what building and unit were you in? I'm in building five. I, if I tell you my apartment, though, you're going to take my hot tub away. And all I want to know is when you're going to fix the hot tubs. The hot tub. I'm not asking or giving any inf other information. I just want to know when it's going to be fixed. Because at this point, I'm going to have to start charging people to use my hot tub. Okay, would you mind if I put you on hold for just a moment? I do mind. I'm trying to... Why can't you just tell me when the hot tubs are going to be fixed? There's nothing to put uh, me on hold for. Because as far as I'm concerned, um, the person? hot tub should be working fine. But no, I want to double check on that for you. it's just warm. Can you send your maintenance guy to check the hot tub? Or maintenance I can't, lady? But first I have to figure out if, if there actually is an issue with our hot tub. Well, I'm telling you that there is because Roy came over here and started using my hot tub without telling me. And so I had to kick him out. And he's kind of pissed off about it. And I'm like, look, I'll call the apartments for you. But I can't keep having people coming up in here using my hot tub. Okay, um, let me look into I don't know that for why you, okay? I'm making a big deal out of this. Why are you I'm, making a I'm, big deal out of it? I'm not. I just, I just did not know about the hot tub not working, and so I want to make sure that I'm assisting this, and I want to make sure that the hot tub, what exactly is wrong with it. Okay, well, it's not heating up. It's only just warm. Okay, That's the I will um, let the maintenance know that it's not hot. Um, okay. But I do not know when exactly it will be fixed. That's what I need to find out. Okay. Have you gotten any complaints about water leaking through yeah. to any apartments? Just wondering. Um, but does that have to do with the hot tub? <clears throat> well, not necessarily. I'm just wondering if anybody has made any complaints, anything like that. Okay, let me put you on hold for just a moment. Okay, I don't... Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll turn it down. They have you really bad reviews on here. What? Did you want to be my husband? Okay. Wait, in real life or on this call? No, 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 <laughs> on the call. Oh, shit. I was going to say I'm not ready for that yet. Tell them you didn't appreciate the way they were talking to me. <laughs> I'm gonna say what are they saying? <laughs> uh, sounds like Sean Paul. I'm going to say I don't appreciate Sean Paul's lyrics. They're offensive. <laughs> are you still there? Um, she handed me the phone because she was very offended by uh, Sean Paul's lyrics that you put on the phone. Like you were playing some obscene music at us. Oh. I, I don't know. Like was, I don't control what music he, he plays. He was saying bong, bong, bong and talking about six-year-olds or something. It was weird. Like, it is very okay. offensive. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I don't know what radio station they have playing on hold. And it's an obscene um, one. How, what? She hung up. Oh, man. Okay, I'm calling back. Okay. What, what, why would she do that? Thank you for calling me. Apartments, this is Miranda. How may I help you? Oh, is this the person that hung up on me? Hang on, just one moment. Okay. No. Ah, shit. How can I help you? Hey, um, I don't know. I was talking to someone and we got hung up on. Yeah, how can we help you? Well, why am I on speaker, for one thing? Uh, because... You are? And why'd you How can I help you? Oh, okay. And why'd you hang up on me? It was an accident. How can I help you? Oh, that's weird because you haven't apologized or anything for that. How can I help you? Uh, well, I can put my wife back on. She needs to talk to you about your warm tub. About our, I'm sorry, our what? The warm tub out by the pool. 
Are you guys pranking us? No. <laughs> okay, because it sounds kind of like you are. <laughs> so well, how about you start out by telling me what unit you live in? Uh, I think she already told you. No. No, she did not. No, she did. I, I heard her. I was, I was sitting right here. Didn't you write it okay, down? Okay, you know what? I don't have time for this conversation if you're not going to provide me any information. What unit are you living in? I can barely... Listen, lady. Listen, lady. Listen. All I did was call up and ask when the hot tub was getting fixed. I don't care about any of this other bullshit. I don't know why we're on speaker. I don't know why okay, you're making a big deal out of this. Over I will not why are you making a big me. deal? Bye. Why are you making a big deal? <laughs> When's the hot tub getting fixed? She hung up. <laughs> that was really a lot. For just me asking when the hot tub was getting fixed. Yeah, hung up on me because like I don't like obscene music. <laughs> talking about six year olds. All like really all they had to do was tell me when the hot tub's getting fixed. That's it. Instead they had to put you on speaker. Very unprofessional. I don't get it. It's a bunch of bullshit. <sighs> well, I guess now we know why that review is on there. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. The reviews on this one are like all one star and it's just tons of complaints. <laughs> Like 32 reviews, and like most of them are one stars. Yep. Is that where you're saying stuff about the hot tub? Because it's someone complained about it? Yeah, oh. yeah, because I knew like if their hot tub's always broken. And then she's like, I don't know if the hot tub's broken. It's like, I'm telling you the hot tub's broken. Call the apartment. Hi, um, I was calling because I was wondering about the pool. Um, I'm a tenant here, and sometimes the pool is closed. Uh, what, are, what are your pool hours? Um, the pool hours are from 8.30 to 10. Okay, like 8.30 in the morning till 10 in the yeah. morning? Till 10 at night. Oh. Yeah. Okay, because see, my son, um, he's been going to the pool in the middle of the night, um, Apparently, he's just been peeing in the pool at night. Um, which, I mean, I told him not to, but I can't really control him because he's older now. <laughs> um, I was wondering if we could have, like, a key to the pool or, like, you could leave maybe the pool open for a while. Um, just maybe to, like, 1 a.m. or something because he won't use the toilet in the apartment. I'm sorry, but who, who's this? This is Stacy. I'm in 101, and um, I just want to know if you can keep the pool open a little longer. Because my son, you know I we... can't stop him. He's just, he goes there, he pees in the pool, and I, um, I, I he's just doing it, like, you know, at midnight around midnight um I, I just want him to be safe though and you know if, if the pool's closed he starts looking around for other places and you know I don't want him wandering down Douglas Avenue looking yeah no we, we can't leave it open past 10 o'clock I mean we have a security that closes it at 10 but can you tell them just to do it until midnight for a few days until I can figure out what to do with this kid? You know, I, I can't. I can't because he's not even supposed to be peeing in the pool. Well, why not? Because he can't be peeing in the pool, ma'am. And we can't leave it open past 10 o'clock. Wait, what's wrong with, what's wrong with him peeing in the pool? Confused. Ma'am, can I? Do you want to speak to my manager? I can take your number down. She can give you a call. I don't see why this requires a manager. Well, because I'm I'm telling you, we can't leave it open past ten o'clock, and I mean we can't. Well, forget that. I'm concerned now because you said that we're not supposed to be peeing in the pool. No. But people I mean, are you're not supposed in the pool. to. They pee in the pool during the pool hours, um, so I don't okay, but get we're not going to open the pool past 10 o'clock so your son can go pee in it. Well, I, I understand that, but I'm, I'm concerned now because you're telling me that nobody's allowed to pee in the pool. 
and well, no, not not purposely. I, no, everyone's been peeing in the pool. So, uh, okay. I mean, just the other day, I was swimming in the pool, and this kid uh -huh. just gets out, stands on the side of the pool, pulls out his wiener, and starts peeing all in the pool. When you and see that, I you need to like, give us a call well, so we can chlorine. handle that. What? When you see that happening, you need to call the office so we can go ahead and take care of that situation. Well, I didn't think it was a big deal. So I can't stop my son, but, I mean, right. everybody else has been doing it. And, I mean, just why, why would I call you guys because some little kid peed in the pool the other day? Like, I don't have Look, my, my phone on me while I'm in the pool. Look, all I'm saying is that we can open the pool past 10 o'clock for that. We really can. We have a security, and they have protocols, and they have to follow it. And I'm sure my manager won't even allow that. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. I We're going to have to find something else for him to do. But, I mean, what do you, you can't stop everyone from peeing in the pool, though. People are peeing in the pool during the day, too. Okay. So I don't understand what the point is. I don't understand why we have to open the pool past 10 o'clock either. I just told you it's fine. We'll figure okay, something else out. And then you start okay. talking about how nobody's allowed to pee in the pool when clearly everyone has been peeing in the pool during the pool hours. Okay. Like, fine, I'll just have him go during the day. That's fine. But it, you say there's, like, a security guard there, and I don't know how the security guard is missing, like, everyone else peeing in the pool. Yes, he, clo he closes the pool at 10. That's, that's when he goes out. He's not there throughout the day. Okay, so he, okay, so as long as my son goes during the day, he can pee in the pool. Is that what you're saying? I, I'm not saying that, ma'am. I, I don't know what you're trying to get to. I mean. I'll, I'll just have I, him pee in the bushes or in the laundry room or something. Our toilet has not been working, and... What is your apartment number, then, so I can get that fixed for you right now? Well, I, I already told you what it is, but, I mean, I don't need to have it fixed. We've just been peeing in the pool, and it's been fine. Okay, ma'am. You know, I, 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 oh, that's fine. Okay. Do you have a problem there, with people that pee in the ma pool? Ma'am, is there, is there anything else I can help you with? Because I do have somebody who's waiting for me that, so I can take care of. Oh, can I can I talk to them? Because I want to know if they pee in the pool. Ma'am, you I'm know sure what? I'm, I'm going to hang Just up now, okay? Them. Have ask a great them, day. Ask bye -bye. them if they pee in the pool. <laughs> okay. Let's say you made, made your point there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. She didn't ask, though. She finally said it was okay, though. <laughs> she... <laughs> <laughs> she did. She said it's fine. We can't stop you. Just don't do it at night, please. We need to call back next week. And you can complain about some kid that keeps peeing, <laughs> keeps jumping the fence and peeing in the pool. Yeah. Angie? Hey, Angie. I'm a tenant here. It's Roy. Oh, hi. How you doing? I'm doing good. How can I help you? Um, I needed to find out, like, um, is there any way to leave the pool open later at night? Um, now the rules are at 10. Why? Were you needing it for some reason open later? Well, I just, I have to use the bathroom sometimes in the middle of the night. Uh-huh. So I just wanted to go out there and pee in it. <laughs> yeah, not going to happen. Fuck. Oh, she hung up. <laughs> not going to happen? Like you haven't done it already? Yeah, no, no kidding. What does she know? I'll talk to her and tell her she's a bitch for hanging up on my husband. Uh, she, I, I don't it's know. a bladder problem. I did, yeah, I have bladder cancer again. <laughs> I still hate that I left that in that one call. Yeah, but that, that bladder cancer is so rare. So rare. Yeah, I think you... Like, I look up the numbers. I think you convinced me to leave that in there. It is so rare, though. <laughs> like, that lady's son did not have bladder cancer. <laughs> That is just so weird. <laughs> Let me see. Bladder cancer oh, probability. Okay. Uh, the average time of diagnosis is 73. 
Yeah, and it's her son. She couldn't have been that old. Yeah, yeah. What is the chance of surviving bladder cancer? I feel better Five now. Year, <laughs> Thank you. Seventy-seven percent. Hey, I'm a tenant here at Out. Yes. And I have a question. Sure. Okay. Um, I just needed to find out, like, officially, what time does the pool close? The pool is open from 8 to 8. Okay. But, like, if I go there in the middle of the night, just for a second, it's all right, right? Well, no, because it's locked. It's closed. Yeah, but if I jump the fence? No, you can't jump the fence. Is there any way I can get a key? Well, you have a key, but after 8, it's locked for everybody. Yeah, but I go in there sometime. I, I just, like... Lately, I have to get up a lot in the middle of the night and pee. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're. Yeah, the pool's closed. The pool's closed. It closes at eight. Yeah, but I just need. Like, what if I have to use the bathroom? You have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I pee in the pool. Is what I'm saying. Because it's. Who more... are you? What apartment are you? Uh, this is Roy. I'm. I'm in O. Oh. oh, what? Three. Three. Thirty-three. No, there is no three-three. Six. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to find out if if there's any way to get to the pool like late at night. No, the pool's closed from from after eight. Okay, but I've just been jumping the fence. Well, you're not supposed to. And if we, you know, we find out, you you know, you can get written up for that. Well, I think you could be held accountable if I can't even like use the bathroom in the middle of the night well you can use the bathroom but you use the bathroom in your apartment not in our pool i'm not allowed there anymore the bathroom is off limits to me wow um what apartment are you i, I already told you oh oh yeah okay which oh we have three o's three there's the third one. What? That's what I mean by three. So you're in, in um, 820? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Then you dialed the wrong number because we don't have no 820. Thank you. I don't think it's 820. Well, you said it was. Well, no, I said it's the third one, the third O. I think you're just trying to get out of, like, providing a healthy environment for people to live in. Well, I, I will if you quit trying to get into our pool to pee in it. Um, well, so it, It's fine to pee in a pool. It's like there's chlorine in there. It takes care of it. It's not a big deal. No, it's not. Okay, no, it's not. And um, I don't know what else to tell you. The pool's closed from, from 8 to 8. Thank e you. Everybody Bye. pees in the pool. I wanted to get her to admit that she's peed in a pool before. <laughs> okay. But, nope. So, you know what you could do next time they ask for your apartment number is say, well, you don't actually live there. You've just been using the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. Oh, well. I didn't see you. You could call. You could call her back and tell her you lied and that you don't actually live there and you're coming back tonight after eight. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. What a bitch. Yeah, I hope she gets bladder cancer. Oh, no, don't say that, because I did look up the uh, statistics, actually. You said the survival, the survival rates, like, I, 70 I, something. Uh, well, the survival rates are pretty high, because, um, so, 9 out of 10 people with this cancer are over the age of 55. See? Yeah, they should be dead anyway. Okay, so, no, what I'm saying is that lady's son, well, I don't know. Oh, yeah. He could have been. I don't know. Now... The chance that men will develop this cancer during their life is 1 in 27. Hmm. So it's not really that rare. I see. For women, the chance is 1 in 89. So basically, I am but, a bad person for saying that to her. But, well, what I was going to say, though, is that bladder cancer is the fourth most common cancer in men. Holy shit. Less common in women. <laughs> So, yep. I'm a horrible person. Uh, I get it. Yeah. So, I don't know. Maybe we should title this episode Bladder Cancer if okay. it was an episode. 
I'm gonna title I it go Bladder Cancer details. LOL. Bladder Cancer <laughs> LOL. No. no, I just thought it was rare. I like looked it up. Is bladder cancer rare? And it wasn't. Maybe it was rare at the time that we did the call. <laughs> Is bladder cancer rare? Um Small cell carcinoma is extremely rare, accounting for fewer than 1% of all bladder cancers. Maybe I saw that and I didn't read the whole thing. Anyway, mm. we're, we're dicks. Mostly me. But I think it also has something to do with maybe not drinking enough water. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're, they're always on the road. They're not getting that you extra know? two inches of water, Dick. Right, right. So, yeah, you should probably feel bad. I don't know. Has anyone complained? No, nobody's. Before? Well, maybe a couple people. Not really, though. Everyone Not like knows. seriously complained. No, nah, I don't like think so. <laughs> it's just okay. me that feels bad. Nobody else does. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to insert you... that call right here so people know what we're talking about. Oh, good idea. Yeah, I'm a genius. You want to call <laughs> an apartment, please? You're like, you're like, I feel bad for that call, but people should hear it. Yeah. <laughs> You should see what a terrible person I am. Good afternoon, Brent Lawn Towers. Oh, hello. Um, we're having a little problem with mold in our uh, coming through the wall in the bedroom. Okay, what and suite? What tower? Tower okay. 1, 403. All right, and where is it coming? Um, it's just kind of underneath the urinal in the bedroom. Is this Bruce? Yeah. This isn't Bruce. Is this Bruce? Uh, I'm Bruce's son. Oh, okay. Do you live there now? Or? Yeah, yeah. I'm not really supposed to tell anyone. But I installed a urinal in the bedroom. In the bedroom on the wall. And Excuse me? And the the mold is directly underneath that. You installed what on your wall? A urinal. You know, like a, a bathroom for males. Why would you do that? Because it was too far to walk to the bathroom. Are you ill? And, Kind of. I have bladder issues. Um, well, you did this. You're going to be responsible for getting rid of this. You're so, not supposed to do that. Are you home now? Well, you can't have us living in a place that has mold. Well, you can't, you're not supposed to be putting urinals in bathrooms. And if that's where it's coming from, you're the one that's well, created the problem. I didn't put the urinal in the bathroom. I put it in the bedroom. And where is the mold? It's directly underneath the urinal. But see, there was no drain. Are you, are you home now, sir? Yeah, there was no drainage pipe in that wall, so the, I just had the drain pipe go into the wall. So basically, it's not draining anywhere. It's just, you know, it's pooling inside the wall there. What is? Your, your urine? Yes. Are you insane? I figured that'd be okay, because it, like, it no, doesn't get... No, it's not get, okay. Is, is Marsha and Bruce even living there? It doesn't get used more than, like, maybe twice a night. I don't care. Is Marsha and, and Bruce living there? They're not here right now. For how long are they gone? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You're their son. Did they go well, away for a week? Uh, yeah, they're a, well. Br Bruce is at work right now. All right, I'm gonna. I'm sending my husband over there now. But I don't you see why home? you're getting so mad at me because I'm just trying to. I'm explain getting mad at you. I'm getting mad at you because you've done something that I've never even heard of in my entire life. You've never heard of someone installing in a urinal. Never. You never. never. You know urinals exist, right? They're, it's not like a made-up thing. No, they exist, but putting it in a wall and it's got no place to drain? Well, maybe you guys should come over and put a drain pipe in. Well, maybe the, you should take the damn thing out. I am calling my husband. I'm not and taking be it out because I have medical issues and I need the urinal in the bedroom. You are not having a urinal, young man. I will call my husband. We, are you home now? We, we clearly are having a urinal because it's there right now. We're not taking it out. Young man, young you, man, are you home now? Yes, but if you come over, I'm not, gonna even, will, I'm not opening the door because I don't want my urinal taken out. So good luck getting in. I'm, call, I'm calling Brooke, Brooke, uh, Bruce, and I'm calling Masha right now. I've never heard of anything so ludicrous. I'm, go, I'm calling them, okay? Well, they're, they're not. They're going to agree. They're not going to let you take the urinal. No, they're not going to agree. You can't take the urinal out. Yes, we can. I, I need we it. can it's do for, whatever we want. For health sir. reasons, you don't and it shows in our lease. You rent it. It shows you in our lease. You don't have it draining anywhere. You have it draining into a wall that could affect other people. You can't discriminate against health reasons. It's not a health reason, sir. We have a bad. It is a health reason. I have bladder cancer. 
I'm sorry to hear that. I really am. I'm well, very sorry. Well, you don't sorry. sound sorry because you're trying to take away my treatment. No, my son just passed away from cancer, and he had bladder cancer and lung cancer, and we did not install a urinal. Oh, okay? So don't tell well, me Well, maybe that's the problem. Do you ever think of that? No, it is not the problem. And don't be so sarcastic. I am calling Bruce right now. Fine. You're not getting my urinal. Hello? Hello. Good afternoon. Is... Yeah? Go ahead. Yeah, I've got something leaking in my apartment. Uh, what apartment are you calling from? I'm in apartment 303, the first tower. Okay. And where is it leaking? It's kind of leaking from the top. I, I don't know if... Um, in what I don't room? know. In the bedroom. Um, have you talked to Bruce recently? I haven't seen him recently. Bruce who? Bruce and Marsha, the people that live above me. How do you know them? I'm just curious because I'm getting some really weird phone calls today. Well, because we're neighbors. Mm-hmm. And where do they live? They live in 403. Okay, and, and uh, the phone calls I've been getting, the last few phone calls have just been bizarre. How many did you get? I've received two. Two and I'm calls? I'm going to tell you the content of them, but it's concerning this. Now, you say it's leaking in your bedroom? Yes, so so two calls before me? You don't need to know about that. I'm just, I just want to know. 303 Tower 1, are you at home now? Yes, of course, my home. It's leaking down here. Okay. I will call my husband and I'll have him go over to your suite. Wait, were they also complaining about leaking? No, I, I'm not going to get into it, what the phone calls were about. I just, okay, I just had a bizarre... Can you tell me, did, did Bruce and Marcia go out of town? I'm not telling you anything, okay? Other than um, my husband will be at your suite soon. Hey, you, you, you don't have to be a bitch about it. I'm not being a bitch. All right, and I don't appreciate you calling me. I, it's just none of your business. That's in, I'm trying to tell you that. Well, then, a nice then place. Why, why did you say it in the first place? You yes, shouldn't have said yes. anything in the first place. Okay, listen, my, Erica, my husband will be there in a few minutes, okay? Thank you. How did you know my name? I'm the manager. You know everybody in the building? That's my job. Your, your name is Erica Camille, and you moved in October 15th in 2011. And I have your phone number and everything. Wow. Well, what it's mean, wow. Because okay. if you're so good at managing this building, why is there a leak? I have no idea, Erica. That's it why I'm smells. going to have my husband to be there, okay? Thank you. What is this about? Goodbye. My husband will be there shortly. Why your husband? I'm just going to say that you've been using their pool, okay. but you don't actually live there. And then you can get on the phone. Throw me under the bus. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say you're on the phone too. My enterprises. Hi, this is Stacy. I actually I live in one of the houses on Cypress Avenue, okay. uh, right by your apartments. Um, I I have a bit of a problem. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Okay, so my husband he's on the phone with me. Um, hey there, I'm on the phone too. I'm on the extension. Yeah. Um, he keeps going over to your apartments and using your pool. Why don't you say hi to me? And I, I just, I don't know how to stop him. I don't know what to do. Um, I don't know if you can give him a stern talking to or if you care that he's using your pool. Um, Apparently, he's going over there in the middle of the night. I've been trying to get him to stop, but he just won't. He says that you don't mind, that he personally knows you. He's telling me all these things, and I don't believe them. So can you hmm. settle the uh, bet for us, ma'am? Just settle the bet. Like, it's no. fine, right? That's weird. He, our our he, pool he is locked, so I don't know if he's jumping over the fence. Yeah, I'm, jump, I'm very athletic. I can jump over the, over the fence easily. Well, that's trespassing, so the police sees you there in the middle of the night. Then you're going to get arrested the, for doing that. The police, the police haven't seen him. In fact, I wish they would because he needs to stop doing it. I go through. I the, keep waking up in the middle so, of the night and he's gone. I go through the backyards, so the police aren't going to be in their backyards. I just jump over the okay. fence through the neighbor's backyard. Well, if you see him in the night, just go ahead and call the police and 
but I I can't come- because I don't I don't have I don't know where he is. He comes back and he tells me, "Oh, I went over there. I had to pee," and I just like he claims that our toilet's not working, but it is. Um, mm-hmm. Half the time she thinks I'm know- down in the kitchen. What? I- I'm just saying half the time you think I'm down in the kitchen, but maybe I'm in the kitchen. Maybe I went to the pool. You know? I, you know what, Roy? Um, I know where you are. I know that you're not in the house. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I, and I, didn't mean it like I don't that. appreciate you lying. First of all, you're lying to this lady. You're not athletic. I, I think, ma'am, are you keeping the pool open? I can jump a fence. No, the pool gets locked, um, and there's a gate uh, unless she's jumping over or breaking the fence slats. But we do have cameras in the Pool area. So I'm, I'm not hurting anything though. I'm just and, I'm just going in there and, and peeing. That's all. Well, you're I, I, peeing in the pool. Yeah, because like that's why I go there. I, I'm not swim, I, I'm not even swimming. I don't think he can jump the fence. I think you're leaving it unlocked. I would really appreciate it if you would lock your pool. Because then we can no, stop the, this the, from happening. The pool is getting locked every night. I I don't. Then how is he getting in there? Your lock doesn't work, ma'am. It doesn't work. He's not athletic, okay. I'm telling you. My if if I wake up again and my husband's missing, it's gonna be y'all's fault that you didn't lock the pool. Our our fault? Sure. You, you, you didn't might lock the pool. Have another issue. It is locked. I'm getting I, I got on next door, okay? And I've already complained. Mm-hmm. And they're telling me that they also notice that you don't lock your pool. I think this is a liability. This is a problem. Um, you cannot convince my husband not to do this. I think the problem that you this. have is your husband. Oh, I think you need no. to mind your own fucking business, lady. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> she had no right to say that to you. I was... Standing up for you. She had no right to say that to you. <laughs> Called her back. I am going to tell her I don't appreciate. You have reached the in our apartment. Oh. Please leave your name and number and we'll call you as soon as possible. Here, I'll call her from a different number. Okay. I'll tell her I'm on my cell phone. I'm on my way over. <laughs> you have reached the in our apartment. Damn it. Please leave She's it. not having any of your <laughs> shit. I ruined it. I am on my way over right now. I was confused about that one because you were like, I didn't know if I was like an ex-husband that kept sneaking over to your apartments to use the pool. Oh, or... no, no, no. I was, I told her I was in one of the houses. Oh, behind the apartments. I and, see. And, and you kept being gone in the middle of the night and it was her fault for not locking the pool. I see. That was her fault. Stupid me. And she's like, I think it's your husband's fault. What did she say? I think your husband's the problem. Like, no. Yeah, fuck her. Keep your fucking pool locked. Maybe we wouldn't have this problem. That's right. She's ruining our fucking marriage. (laughs) If you want me to say anything, let me know. Oh, whatever. I don't care. Jump on in and ruin mine like I ruined yours. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling. Koya. Hey, I'm a tenant here. I have a question. Yeah, what's your question? Um, well, I got yelled at by my neighbor last night because I, I was pee- <laughs> peeing out the window. You were what? Peeing out the window. Okay. <laughs> it's not funny when you think about it because, like, they're they're like I seriously I hit them. You hit them it with was, your pee. Yeah. But th- the only reason is because you guys lock the pool at night, so I can't go use the pool. Because my wife won't let me use the bathroom. <laughs> okay, okay. What apartment complex did you live at? Uh, village. Uh huh. So you could have peed a bucket or something on a balcony. Um, no, I'm not a fucking animal. She's on the. <laughs> she... My wife's on the extension, and she knows you're laughing at me. Like, you don't need to be flirting with me because she's on the extension. Yeah, I, I don't think that's very respectful. 
I don't know why we're paying you money, and you're going to tell my husband to pee in a bucket on the, on the balcony? <laughs> well, why wouldn't you pee in the restroom is the thing. That's what the restroom's for. What apartment? Okay, what apartment number do you No, live? no, no, no. Listen, what apartment lady, number do you listen, live in? Okay, ma'am. Listen, lady, not, I'm, I'm using the bathroom in the middle of the night taking a bath. I don't need him coming in there and peeing. And Our marriage the isn't fact that open. Is, right. And the fact is, no, we pay for this pool. We pay for it. <laughs> and you, you need pee. to leave it open. You can't pee, pee into the pool, though. But you can't pee into the pool. What apartment do you live in? Everybody pees in the pool. What, Lady, what everybody pees in the pool. I don't appreciate your attitude laughing at him. He could get bladder <laughs> cancer from this. What uh, what apartment what apartment number do you live in, ma'am? Look, I just want you to keep the pool open, can, or can, give us a key. We, can we I, can't something. keep the pool open for restroom purposes. Can I ask the lady a question, honey? Because she, like, okay, she, fine. I'll I'll shut up. No, it's I'm not saying that. I don't think she'll flirt with me this time. I just I want to ask, a, <laughs> like, ma'am, have are you telling me you've never in your entire life peed in a swimming pool? Wait, okay, who's the neighbor that yelled at you? Or who did you pee on? I don't know. Who, it's wait, this, who's the neighbor that yelled at you? The downstairs, perhaps? Some, Mex I'm, I'm some, some Mexican guy. I, which one? I don't... Oh, oh, wow, wow. You, you went there, didn't you? <laughs> what are you trying to say? Okay. What, you, what apartment, what, uh, what building are you in? Let's start there. What building are you in? So we can get down to the bottom of it. Mm. I'm, I, I don't... I don't know if you should apologize if you peed on his head. No, um, I think, uh, no, that's not the thing what we're calling what about. What building are you in? Why is she laughing at you? I don't Why know. Why is she laughing I'm, at you? I'm just saying, like, keep, Just leave the, the pool open. Yeah, open I the don't gate get at, it. Open the gate at night. So we we're can not going to open the gate at night. I'm sorry. So we're no, not, Especially not just to go in there and pee. We pee in there in the daytime. Uh, <laughs> lady, do you live on... Sight? She's trying to say she doesn't even pee in pools. Like she gets. I mean, maybe she, you can knock on her door and she can open it for you. She says she gets out of the pool and goes and uses the bathroom. Like that's bullshit. We have the, we have the clubhouse as well. Well, no, we don't. Can, that can open he that use your bathroom? I'm using um, my bathroom. No, but I definitely let tenants use the clubhouse bathrooms. It, in the middle of the night, though. Well, no, I won't get up in the middle of the night. She just has a problem because I pee all over the floor. Oh, wow. Like in the bathroom, you know, around the toilet. Uh-huh. And, like, excuse me, it's not a perfect stream, you know? Like, it's... <laughs> I don't know what to say. She goes okay, flirting with me again. You just, like, you just got yelled at? Is that is that what the thing is? is yeah, I think he's why not... Why you're calling they, he, just they cursed, got... he just cursed at me, and I, I'm not... I don't think that's even a big deal. He's not going to complain. And if he, uh -huh. if he does, I'll apologize. Okay. I, will, I appreciate that. I, I appreciate that very much. So mm -hmm. can you not pee off the balcony? Is that an option as well? Well, if you open the pool gate at night, just leave it open. Yeah, I can't do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have liability. There for liability reasons, we can't do that. I'm not going to fall in. I'm not stupid. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I, was there something I can help you with? Is there is there something that is there a problem that I could try to resolve for you? Yeah, maybe with the neighbor, perhaps. Leave the or, freaking gate open, lady. We're not going to leave the gate open. Then where am I supposed Sorry. to pee? Then I'm going to keep peeing over on the over the balcony. I'm just. Oh. I, I have no choice. What else am I supposed to do? <laughs> pee in a bucket. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> something rather than the balcony. I mean, what 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 time was this? What time was this at? I was trying to pee in the bushes, but it kept going on the sidewalk, and then that guy was walking by. So it was the middle of the night. It, like what? Like midnight? I, two? No, like two, or? two or three, probably. Oh man. Okay. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Is there a problem that I could help you resolve other than the? No, I apologized to the bladder, guy. I yelled down. I, I yelled down that I was sorry. Okay. And he, he was just cursing. Okay. Well, cursing I'll see. At me. You know, I mean, it, I guess it's not a big deal. I'll see if someone gives me a call, and then we'll do. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But for now, we can just leave well enough alone. Okay. 
Okay, but I'm sorry, I can't leave the school open lady, at night for liability lady, but reasons. What are we gonna do? To... What are we gonna do about my husband though? He he keeps peeing on people. This is not a one time thing. <laughs> we could get him some medication. I don't know. I don't know. It's not like <laughs> I have you bladder mean cancer. Like like medication for peeing in the middle of the night? That's like normal. I mean perhaps. No, I, I don't know, but I just know we can't leave the pool open because we, we can't we can't wake up to someone falling around in there. So we have to close it at night. I'm not going to be swimming in it. I promise. Sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to stand. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Why don't you just pee through the the fencing of the pool? Can you reach the pool? I can't go that far. No. Ugh. Because there, there's like a lot of concrete in between the fence and the pool. I've tried. Oh. Okay, well, I, I got to get going. So um, I'm sorry I can't, re you know, do anything more for you. But if a tenant calls me and, you know, he's upset that he got his head peed on, I'll, uh, you know, I'll deal with that just, issue. I don't know. It just splashed on him a little bit. It's not like I peed directly on him. I was peeing in the bush, <laughs> like in the tree. A little splash, okay. Yeah, and it just, like, I got all over the sidewalk. Like, I get all over the bathroom floor when I pee in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what to say. Okay, but why are you saying I need medication? Well, I mean, perhaps to help you not pee at nighttime. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Everybody pees at nighttime. I know I can't leave the, the pool open, though. I don't see why not. That's for sure. Uh, I don't know. This is going on our Yelp review. Yep. <laughs> Why are you laughing at us? What about the hot tub? No, definitely don't don't pee in there because so definitely not. That's a smaller body of water. Yeah, but there's chemicals in there that that absorb the pee. Yeah, and it's don't. hot. Please it's don't. like boiling. Yeah, it's like the same temperature as urine. Okay, so what building are you in? It's like, Look, I, I don't think this is going anywhere. I think we just have to... Yeah, figure it out ourselves, Maybe find... Apparently. I don't know. Maybe move. Maybe I move mean, to a better who, place. Who, who, I yeah, mean, what maybe, if we pee on that... What if, if you what if you pee on that person again? Like, that person... I mean, are they violent? Were they violent? or? He was just yelling and I'm cursing concerned. up at me, but he looked like a pussy, to be honest. I could take him. <laughs> okay, I, Lady, have, to, I have to get going, but if anything, you know, if anything more comes up, just give me a call, okay? And let me know and I'll try to help. Ma'am, are you married? Please. Are you married? Are you married? I No, I am not. Okay, so you don't know what what it's like, uh, like, no, you know, sharing I don't. a restroom, sharing a bathroom. I don't. So maybe, you know, just put yourself in someone else's shoes and... Leave the fucking pool open at night. <laughs> Can't do that. Sorry. Sorry, we're not going to do that. All right. I'm going to pee on all the residents on purpose. <laughs> Just a splash. Okay, please. Okay, so if something comes up, give me a call, okay? Let me know if, gonna, they, if they get angry gonna, with you or, or anything. I'm going to come in the office and pee on you. <laughs> she sounds like she'd like it. Yeah, I know. I was like, she keeps laughing. Okay, so I have to get going like now. Okay, to thank you. Steal Call me, me back if anything comes up. Okay, to steal me you from you. You can go pee on her. I don't mind. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, Bye. Can my wife videotape it? <laughs> Man, it makes me wonder if she's like heard our calls before. Yeah, she's probably a huge fan. She's probably like, oh my god, I'm going to be on the Snowplow show. I'm going to be on the Roy and the Stacy in the Morning show. I've, I've had one person do that to me before, though. Um, I don't know if you remember that, but one time I called someone and they were like, yeah, I'm listening to your show right now. Oh, was wait, how did that happen? I, it was a random number. What? It was, <laughs> yeah. And they were just like... Okay, you're gonna prank call me. It's like I'm listening to your show right now. When me and you were doing a show, or when you were doing the fun show? No, that's when Rob the hyena. Are you and Corbin? I was doing it with Rob, Rob the hyena, and I accused Rob of like, 
you know, setting that one up. And he's like, no, I didn't. I just dialed a rant. That was a random number. That's crazy. So that's on the prank show. Like, it's. Well, no, that's on the fun show. Oh, okay. I don't know which episode. I don't know. Maybe it was on one of those shows that me and Laugh Track Matt and Rob the Hyena did. I don't know. You, you probably Too don't know shows. that I was, I was pranking a bunch of 7-Elevens and doing weird stuff. And I just mm-hmm. happened to call the one, this is like a year or two ago, I happened to call the one that Murdoch worked at. Oh my god. And he's like, I don't know what you're doing, Brad, but you need to leave me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was Murdoch there at the time? Yeah, he was working. Like, he answered the phone. Oh, he answered it? Oh my god. <laughs> and, and I forget, like, it's in one of my shows. And I, I'm sure nobody, everyone, everyone probably thinks I'm full of shit. Like, I did it on purpose, but... Because I knew he worked at 7-Elevens, but I just wasn't thinking. Maybe subconsciously I did it on purpose. Maybe. I don't know. But that was kind of well, bizarre. Well, no. You would have to know that he was working at the time and exactly which one he was working at. Yeah. So you couldn't do it on purpose. But I did know what city he lived in, and I was calling every single store <laughs> in the city. <laughs> maybe you were doing it on purpose. Yeah, maybe. I swear I wasn't, though. Did you have to go? Yeah, kind of. I don't know. Soon. In a minute. That, we that got was... the laughing lady. <laughs> yeah, that was a good last call. Are you going to use that one? Yeah. I thought that was perfect for a last call. Like, good way to end it. Some, that was hilarious. Some lady who thinks we're funny. Are you going to call her back once you post the show? No, why would I do that? She'll, like, order, <laughs> she'll order, order it taken down. She'll, like, try and sue me. I don't think so. I she sounded like she wanted to be peed on. <laughs> She's probably waiting at home like, he asked me if I was single. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I was being kind of, of an asshole husband there, like, asking her if she's single and saying I want to pee on her. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> honey. <laughs> she means nothing to me. Cisco Kids, Cactus Corner. Play those voicemails. Red! Snowplow Show. We put the tingle in the downstairs. I don't know why the voicemail segment is called Cisco Kid's Cactus Corner, but Cisco Kid, he sent me some numbers recently. I called them all. Those were on the last hobo sode. Big old list of employee numbers, and he attached that sound file to the email, and I don't know. Here, maybe this voicemail will answer it. It's from Cisco Kid. Hey, Brad, it's Cisco Kid, host of the voicemails. Mm-hmm. So I got a fucking complaint for Stacy. She wants people to complain about her and her shows this, or whatever. This is a good show to do it on. You just heard a, like an hour of her. Fuck or lack thereof. She, I get to say that she holds my least favorite phone call prank of all time. Uh-oh. Uh, is I it re- the one about the uh, the cancer? Bladder cancer? She's sorry for that one. She calls up some dude saying that he triggered her or something like that. It's because of something he said, and he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. She's like, that word, don't say that word. And it's making her sick, so she's just like, eh, eh, eh. He's like, what word? She's like, that word. Eh, eh, eh. It's just fucking nothing but that for an entire show. <laughs> if it was just one call, it felt like an entire show. Where was this? So, fuck her. Fuck her stupid-ass prank. It's my least favorite of all time. That's right, Stacy. me off. Fuck, fuck you, Stacy. Follow the fucking rules and shit. I kind of want to hear that. Is that on the fun show or is that on one of my shows? I don't remember that at all. Brad, it's Gabe Newell. Hey. Listen, there was this hilarious thing you used to do. You would call people pretending to be from the homeowners association or some corporation or whatnot. Yeah. And when they would hang up on you angrily, you would call them back and assess them some twenty-five or fifty-dollar hang-up fee. That was hilarious. I'm you need sorry. You keep doing it. I'm a Patreon supporter, so you have to follow my commands, Damn or it. else you will lose out on the precious $5 a month that I contribute, which <sighs> I know again. you need to sustain yourself. I had to call you up right now and assess you a $25 fee. Peace out. Be like, this is the corporate office. I'm going to have to ask you to raise your Patreon to $25 for being so demanding. Hello, Brad. It's Acknowledge Me, Bobby. Hey. But listen, man. Those little flush episodes... We're so fucking funny, man. It's probably the best shit that I heard in a long time. And if you Thanks. make a sequel to the Will It Flush episode three, mm-hmm. I will become a monthly Patreon supporter. You got my word, bro. Okay. I will support the PLA financially. I did not hear what you said your name was, but if you're the same guy from the Facebook, you went ahead and became a Patreon supporter already. And I think that means I don't have to do Will It Flush 
three. All right. So, ha ha. But yeah, I'm sure I'm going to do another one of those. Those are fun. It's the easiest prank call to make, really. They get so mad when I tell them why. Hey, Brad, it's Max Power. So all this talk about Tomcats got me thinking. Uh, you what should start a dumb Kickstarter down the road for a PLA-themed time capsule and bury it in Roy, New Mexico and open it on the year 2069. Right under the water I tower. think that would be a really great idea. I think a lot of people would be willing to go ahead and chip in for this one. All right, just an idea. All right, let's do it, everyone. Everyone, update your Patreon pledges to $50 a month so we can afford to bury a time capsule in Roy, New Mexico, directly below the water tower. It's going to be great. Hey, Brad. It's Earl Sinclair. Hey. I'm very much alive. Listen, man. That's great. Um, <clears throat> Brad's Cactus Shack mm. is awesome. Uh, I've been Thank binge you. listening to your stuff all week because uh, I quit TV, and uh, but that still leaves me sitting there. TV. It's either listen what? to you or be paralyzed by the content of my mind. So I choose to listen to your nonsense. Okay. But um, as far as uh, Brad's Cactus Shack, man, you're like legitimately interesting, man. Oh, you. You've done some weird stuff <laughs> in life uh, between getting arrested with fellow underage girls for shoplifting or whatever. Fellow underage girls. And, uh, what? <laughs> like, just the weirdness of your neighbor, Warren, who we didn't get arrested. drugs and borrowed your phone and you recorded his call secretly. I want to know, man, yeah. what's going on. Good old this? felonies that I'm committing here in A Albany. Weird life of yours, because you're legit interesting. Uh, a dude who decides to broadcast being obnoxious to strangers on the internet, on the telephone. Yeah, you got some weird stuff going yeah, on. So yeah. Basically, yeah. I, just, I need uh, to be love stopped. The show. Um, Someone needs to stop me. That's it. That's the end of this. Bye. All right. Bye, Earl from Claire. And I agree with him. Everyone should be listening to Brad's Cactus Shack. That's one of the many other podcasts that I do. You can hear that one by going to notla.com. I think there are 11 or maybe 12 episodes of Brad's Cactus Shack now. And everyone thinks I've quit making that show. I just haven't done any in a couple months, okay? Just like I hadn't done any of the Mr. Dobelina shows in a couple of months. I've been busy. And by the way, I did a brand new Mr. Dobelina just a couple days ago. If you want to hear that, that's over at worldofprankcalls.com. And it has the rest of the calls from the Frank Homeowners Association. The one with Frank in it. Frank, what's his face? The badass from New Jersey. There was another whole show with those calls in it, and I'd completely forgotten about it. But I found those calls just recently, just a couple months ago, so I made a show out of them. WorldOfPrankCalls.com But more importantly, not LA.com. That's a podcast you need to listen to. Brad's Cactus Shack. Hey, Brad. You hey. know who this is. You've got to know who this is. Nope. But anyhow, I'm, um, uh, if you could, just stop the uh, voicemail. Don't let anybody else listen to this, what the fuck? please. You know, just no, no, I'm, I'm playing you know, the voicemail. Like, this is a you specific can't stop question. Me. I should probably email you. But what if you were to probably not the whole voicemail though? A, it's a minute and thirty-seven seconds long. You know, sex offender list and started you know calling people, pretending to be them, and saying stuff to them okay. and stuff like that. Like you know, I'm supposed to. Call I think that violates the terms of service of the sex offender list. You're not allowed to do that. You let you know I'm moving in your area. Da 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 da. I'm wondering. Would that be, yeah. would you be involving the police with that, or Probably. would that be something that could I be... I mean, don't you think the neighbors would call the police if sex offenders that lived by them were calling them and acting like psychos toward them? I think that sounds like a really bad idea, and you should not do that. I should add that to my list of rules. And hey, look at this, another voicemail by you. Hey, Brad. Hey. This is GT. You know who I am. Yes, I just uh, pushed hey, the Greg. number one more. I am spoof calling you. Okay. Anyhow. So, yeah, I've been saying that uh, I've been skipping a lot of the intros or whatnot. That's but anyhow, nice. um, should I m try to make another uh, song for you or whatnot? You know, sure, for the, why not? For the show? I suggest you do uh, that. Just let me know. Um, That's a better use because... of your time than calling up people from the sex offender list or i mean impersonating people from the sex offender list i'm assuming that's the only question you had that voicemail went on for a while hey roy hey. it's that feeling it is 5 55 p.m 80 degrees fahrenheit that's in beautiful nice. roy maryland 
Okay. Come say hi. I got my PLA coin today. It is gorgeous. I also got some stickers. Thank you for that. No I'm problem. Put a couple of those on my work laptop. You know, pre- speaking of coins, everyone, there are, I think, either three or four people from the Kickstarter. They supported the Kickstarter so that they would get coins, and they have not sent me their address yet. Their envelopes, they are the envelopes are filled with coins and stuff, whatever you got, and they're just sitting over there on my desk. They're just over there looking at me because you guys haven't sent me your address. So you three or four people who have not yet sent in your address, if you supported the Kickstarter and you're wondering why you don't have a coin yet, that's probably probably the reason because I don't have your address send me your address log into Kickstarter and fill out the survey thing be cool the envelope looks like somebody had stepped on it did you do that you clumsy little boy you yep okay talk to you later bye that, that was me that was a guarantee when I did the coin stuff that I would step on every single one of them you're welcome for that so two things you know, I always listen to, to the Snowplow show. As you know, I always listen to it as I'm falling asleep. Okay. But but that's neither here nor there. You haven't told I, me who you are. This is an unfamiliar number. Who the point. fuck is this? You know, I hear you mention the phone show every so often, and I'm just always kind of curious, you know, what's the difference between a phone show and a Snowplow show? Why Uh-oh. did you stop the phone here show? Here we go. Why did you start the Snowplow show? These are an- questions that need to be answered. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just one of those things. It just, I, it, it, I struggle sometimes. It keeps me up sometimes. I'm like, why did you do that? What was so wrong with it? What's the difference? Yeah, you know, and no, I'm not going to listen to any of the old phone shows because I don't want to hear old, outdated, potentially 10-year-old news. Oh, come I'm on. above that. Come on. I'm not a senior citizen it's like fun. you. You can hear Skunk Works call in every single week and talk to us about being a basement dweller and which chemicals to use to dissolve bodies and cut through craniums and stuff like that. But anyway, it's fun. That's all I really had to say. Forget the other second point because it's pointless. Well, yeah, yeah, no, it, it's pointless. It's getting too long. So I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right. Bye. Later, skater. I guess I quit the phone show because I needed a change. Same reason I quit doing the PLA radios and I quit doing the Big Beef Bueno show. Not that I officially ever quit PLA radio or the Big Beef Bueno show. There could be more episodes of those someday. I'm just on a five or six year hiatus. That's all. Van Buren Avenue. Okay. Thanks for that. Oh my God. Hey, what's up? Hey. This is Neon. What's going on, Mr. Oh, RBC? Hey, Neon. I think I heard you leave this message last night during your show. I'm going to time myself for a minute and make sure well, that I go. You know, over. you failed because this is a 44 second long voicemail. I'm not really timing myself. <laughs> Good one. RBCP. I think you know who he is, but RBCP is actually asking me who RBCP is. So anyway, um, yeah. So you have a cool show. And thanks, um, Neon. I have a T-shirt that I bought like a couple years ago. That's, that's nice, um, Neon. I need a new one. So and thank you for the coins. You're um, welcome, Neon. Yeah. So pretty swell dude. All right. Bye, Neon. Neon did a show last night. I listened to almost the entire thing. I think it was only an hour long. She does a show every once in a while at Mixler.com slash Neon Like Bjork, which I am going to right now to see if she archived last night's show. And she did not. What the hell, Neon? I was going to put a link to it. I guess I'll just put a link to your show reel and maybe you'll put it up later. But she called a few people last night. She played some music. She played a song that I hadn't heard since the 80s. The ending credits song from the movie Summer School, which I have not seen since the 80s and have had no desire to see since the 80s, mostly because I have the entire movie memorized since I watched it so many times in the 80s. But still, I was like, holy shit, I remember this song for some reason. I actually looked for it on Spotify last night and it didn't even exist on there. Otherwise, I would play it right now because this is the end of the show and I need to figure out a song to play on the end of the show. Or, you know what? No, I think instead of doing that, I am going to end today's show with another prank that me and Stacy did. Because you guys haven't heard enough of me and Stacy yet. And for all we know, we're not going to hear from Stacy ever again. Or if we do, it'll probably be like in 2023. So, screw music. Let's just listen to one more prank that was made years and years ago by me and Stacy. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thank you to the sponsors, FOD87, Thunor High School Graduate. Jessica Cal and Jamie F, F as in Frank. And if you enjoy this show, please support it over at Patreon. Supporting the show helps make more shows happen. You get access to a bunch of secret shows, over a hundred of them now, and you get a brand new secret show every single week. 
you'd be crazy not to support this show for just five bucks a month. So go over to patreon.com slash phone losers and do that. Bye, everyone. Here's me and Stacy. Hi, is this a sign company? Yep. Um, yeah, I just need uh-huh. a, a really big sign made. Like, I guess, vi- okay. vinyl, maybe? Okay. Um, is this for outdoors, indoors? Uh, I, outdoors, I think. Yeah, definitely outdoors. Like a big, okay. I don't know, like 40 foot by 20 foot or something. Okay. Can, can you do, like, signs that big? Um, it's definitely a possibility. I guess I'd have to find out more. So, is this going to be, is it like a banner material? Um, or is this like a solid substrate? Or... Oh, I don't know. Like I, I was thinking like a vinyl type thing. I want to stretch it between okay. two phone poles across the street. Okay. Like, yeah, do definitely. you know how big a street is? Like how long a street is? How long a street is? You know, all or... how wide a street is. Because it has to be, I want to stretch between two phone poles so all the cars see it. Um. So you're, it's going across the street? Yeah, yeah. Like up up high so, so the cars won't hit it. Hopefully. Okay. So you don't you don't want it 20 by 40. You probably only want it like th- three foot by like 20 feet or something like that, right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I want to put quite a bit of text on it and I'll make sure okay. that everyone can read it. Uh, so are you going through the town? Um, because typically they would like the electrical department is the one that puts those sort of things up. No, I'm going to be doing this kind of on the DL. Okay. Um, can I take down your number and have the owner call you back? Well, do you know how much a sign like that would be? And does it charge like I w- by the letter? Yeah, we. Ha- no, it's by it's by size and. Do you know if I can fit all this lettering on on one sign? Like if it's just. Uh, without knowing what the lettering is, I I, I don't oh, know. Well, you know, I can tell you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I want to say, Carolyn, you stupid fucking whore! I know you've been cheating on me. It's over. We're through. Don't come home tonight. Yeah, I don't think that's something we're going to get involved in. Well, would that all fit? Like, if it is it twenty feet across for a street? Do you know, like, what's the average street? Um, I to be honest, I don't know. One lane each way. I I want her to see it on the way to work. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm going to have to let you go. But I want that part to be in black. But then underneath, in red lettering, I want to be like, "P.S. I fucked your sister." Good afternoon, Sign Tech. Oh, hi. Um, my, my name is Stacy. Mm-hmm. Um, I think my husband just called. I just saw on our call log. And, okay. And, like, our, our anniversary is coming up, and um, I'm just really excited because, like, he's usually not the romantic type, and I just wanted to know, like, okay. is he trying to make a sign for me or, or what? Because it's like... Um, I think so. Um, I'm basically answering the phone because the girl who wanted to was afraid to. Oh, <laughs> so if you want to tell me what it is that you need, I can, well, um, I can help you out. Wanted, ask her what he wanted to say. Because, like, I can't, uh, I really can't wait to know. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know what he was doing for you? Yeah. Um, I, she was just kind of in the middle of explaining it to me when you called, so I haven't gotten a complete oh, answer to that. Oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll wait. Okay, hang on for one second. I'll put you on hold, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, oh great. Too late. Too late. Oh, I like the music. I'm going to put on my zoot suit. Hi there. Hi. Are you there? What she say? Okay. Um, this is one I really don't want to get involved in. It wasn't pleasant. Car- Your name's Caroline, oh. is that correct? Yeah. It wasn't pleasant. Danny hung up on him because what he was saying was very nasty, and I don't think he was trying to be romantic. Um, I don't like having to tell oh you my. this, but... He's not a very nasty I'm, person. He's a very nice guy. Uh, maybe I should uh, make a sign for how much I love... No, no, wait. I want to make a, I want to make a sign for how much I love him. Can we do that? And I was just maybe What do you want it to say? Or... Well, I was thinking, like, I could put it something I can put on the garage door so when he comes home, he'll see it before he opens the garage. Okay, but what did you want it to say? I wanted to say thank you for being a sweetheart. Um, something like that. You know, I love you. Happy anniversary. You know, stuff like that. Oh, Carolyn. Um, when I say that what he wanted to say was nasty, I mean, it was very nasty and... Is he apologizing for something, or... 
No, he's not. He's not got anything nice to say about you. Well, maybe so maybe I, I should think like a more kinky sign. Like I love your cock. No. I mean, Carolyn, did that better? Carolyn, listen to me for a second. Okay. Listen to me for a second. This is why she hung up on him. Okay, he oh, wanted okay. a twenty foot by forty foot banner that said, "Carolyn, you bitch. I know you've been cheating on me. Don't bother coming home tonight." <gasps> but I okay. Yeah. You no, know, I. You don't need to explain this to me, Carolyn. I'm just telling you that I'm not making what he wants, and I really think you need to talk to him before you guys put up any oh, more signs. You're making that up. I think you're making that up. There's no way he would. No, say he's not Carolyn, a bio. Okay, well, I'm sorry, but at this point, I don't feel that I can do business with either one of you. I think that this is something you guys got to handle yourselves. Well, that's not very um, nice. If you want to make up a banner, go down to Kinko's, FedEx, or Staples and ask them to make you a banner. They can do it very inexpensively and very quickly. I think you just want to bang my husband. I mean, I've never had a call like this in my whole life.